the phone or online, scammers can work awfully quickly. Before you know it, you can be out thousands of dollars. But the more you educate yourself on the more common scams, the better you'll be at protecting yourself and your family, too. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is here. And Hank, I know you've been tracking some of the big scams of 2019. And then you wonder, what should we be on the lookout for this year? Yeah, because you know the scammers are always trying to get one step ahead, unfortunately. So we talked with experts about what scams we can expect to see in 2020. But we also took a look back into our own files to figure out which scams hit Metro Detroit the hardest in 2019 and which scams could return again. Americans lose millions of scammers every year. So how can you protect yourself in the new year? Experts say when you get a call or an email and it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. Don't be afraid to take time to think things through. But it's also about education, knowing the scams that are out there. As we looked back at 2019, Michigan residents lost $1.89 million to imposters, scammers pretending to be from the IRS or Social Security saying you owe big money. You have to pay them with gift cards. What? Wait a minute. I don't know that the IRS actually takes gift cards to pay my taxes. Government agencies don't do this. They operate through the Postal Service or in person. Romance scams were also on the rise last year. Four months into it, and then he asked me to marry. People are saying that they're overseas, they're maybe in the military, or they're on in a mission for a, some kind of uh, social work, and they've come on hard times. If someone you've never met face to face is asking you for money, know that it's likely a scammer. You had me at it's a match. <laughs> We also saw a big rise in puppy scams here in Metro Detroit and even met somebody here in the area who lost almost four grand trying to get the dog of their dreams. We looked at the pictures that they had available and she found one that she liked. It was called Missy. Once they get you to agree on a dog, scammers will keep asking you to send big money. Oh, it needs some urgent vaccinations before it can fly. And then he said, oh, and a crate. He said that it needed a permit. Bottom line, buying pets online is risky. You need to see the dog. You need to see the pet and see how that interacts with your family. Now let's look ahead to 2020. Expect imposter scams with a little bit of a twist. A grandson or a granddaughter who is now incarcerated and uh, needs money right now, but don't tell mom and dad because when they say that, they're trying to verify that they're out of the country. When you call mom and dad and they say, no, they're sitting right next to me on the couch, they know better. Scammers know you're on the lookout, so they'll try a spoofing number that looks like one from your area code or maybe a number from somebody you know and expect more phishing scams in your inbox. It's an envelope with your address on it, but there's no return address on it. I had, you know, gift cards said, congratulations on your new baby. If you use the gift card on the website it tells you to, you're putting your information on an unsecure website where hackers are stealing your information and then your money. If you're not expecting to receive those gift cards, always beware. Now, what we'll do is we'll put all the information regarding the scams that we are tracking here in Metro Detroit on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. Anybody that asks you to buy a gift card. Don't do the it. Buzzers no. need to be going off. I mean, off, maybe if it's like whistles. if it's your kid or. <laughs> but if yes, if a stranger says, "Hey, you can take care of this payment. Send me a gift card." Not a good idea. Don't do it. Dad. Yeah. Now here's a look at what we're working on coming up for tomorrow at five o'clock.